As I was editing my video, I realized I did not record an intro. So I'm sorry if the lighting sucks. I like to use natural lighting because I record right in front of my window I have in my bathroom. So the lighting is all gone now, so I'm now using just the lights I have in my bathroom. But today I decided to start a how to apply makeup series. So I'm going to be breaking it up in sections. Today's video is over eyes, the next video will be over lips, and then the last video will be over face. The videos will consist of tips and techniques on how to apply makeup for those certain areas of the face and just tips that I either came up with or I found online. So I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you find my tips and technique techniques useful and if you have any other tips or recommendations for me um, feel free to comment below and thank you keep watching a really big tip before you start doing your makeup is you want to clean your face remove all the makeup you had from the day before it's just a lot better for your skin to always remove your makeup before you go to bed and it gives you a nice clean slate to start off with the next day when you want to apply your makeup. Alright, so the first thing you want to do when applying your eye makeup is you want to conceal the dark circles you have around your eyes and to cover up the veins that you have on your eyes. So by doing that, you can either apply your foundation on top or an even better thing to do is just to apply your concealer on top and especially underneath your eyes. The next thing you want to do is use a primer or an eyeshadow base and apply that before you start putting any product on your eyes. I use the NYX High Definition Eyeshadow Base. So with this, it comes out and looks like this. And I'm sorry, I film right by my window and there's a busy road right there and that was just a semi going by, so ignore the noises um, and whatnot. So it comes out like this and I just go like this, dot on the product. So then I'm just using my finger to rub that in all over and you even, wherever you are applying eyeshadow, that's where you want to put the primer. So if you're going to, if you plan on applying it underneath your eyes, go ahead and bring the primer or base underneath your eyes and all the way up to your brow bone, just like this. You don't, see I am a, I do this myself, I tend to tug on my eyes a lot when I'm either applying eyeliner or even just then I was tugging my eyes a lot. You don't want to try and tug on your eyes when you're applying your eye makeup because it pulls on your skin and you get wrinkles easier and faster when you tug on your eyes. So try to prevent in the future from now on to tug on your eyes so much when you're applying your makeup. So then. Um, if you don't have a base or a primer, but you have, let's say you have one of these, this is a Maybelline Color Tattoo, these are also used great for a primer, or if you use MAC products or like MAC offers the paint pots, and I know a lot of YouTube makeup gurus use the Painterly paint pot as a base or primer, you can go ahead and use that too, or as a base color. You can go ahead and use a matte nude color. It's just like if you can see right here, this color, it does have a little bit of shimmer of it, but it's like I tend to use this a lot. I apply it all over my lid. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Maybelline Color Tattoo. This is in the color Barely Branded. It is a light, um, shimmery color. Um, I wish it was a matte color. But to prevent it from being so shimmery, you can see if you apply it just like that, you can see how shimmery it is. But if you rub it in and all over, you just work it all over your lid, it's not so shimmery anymore. There is no definite routine or anything that you should follow by when doing your eye makeup. Obviously you want to prime first, that's what obviously like comes before, but I'm talking about like whether whenever you apply your, um, whether you apply your foundation first, which I like to apply my foundation and do all those steps before to give myself kind of a clean slate. Or if you apply after, which if you apply after, it does help cleaning up any messes you made underneath your eyes, which that is a plus to doing it after. 
or when you want to curl your lashes. I like to curl my lashes um, before I apply um, eyeshadow because I feel like the product gets on my eyelash curler. Or you can apply, or you can curl them after. It really doesn't matter. Or whatever, whatever you want to do. So my next step that I do in my routine is I go ahead and curl my lashes. A tip that you can use if you want your eyelash to eyelashes to really curl is by heating up your eyelash curler. You can use a hair blow dryer to do so. Just hold the blow dryer um, towards your eyelash curler for about. I don't even know a few seconds or until you feel it's warm enough and you don't want to get it too hot because you don't want to burn your eye, your eyelid so just until it's warm enough and then go ahead and curl your lashes but I don't I don't tend to do that in the mornings because I am usually in a big rush so I just go ahead and you want to put it as close to your lid as possible without pinching it and then clamp and then you can go ahead and like pulse it. Don't go so close to the lid this time. Go in the middle of your lashes to kind of get the tip and then do the same thing. Just pulsating the lashes. So then after I curl my lashes, that's when I start um, putting on my eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna do, to me, I'm just gonna do a quick, easy eyeshadow tutorial going to take a flat eyeshadow brush. This is from the e.l.f. Essentials line. It is their professional eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to take this eyeshadow color right here. I had explained it before. It's a nude color and it, it is mostly matte. It just has a tiniest bit of, sh of shimmer in it. So I'm just going to go like this with the product. That's how I apply it. And if you have any excess product, you don't want fallout of it. Fallout means when you apply your eyeshadow and then you look at the bottom of your eyes at the, or at the top of your cheeks, you see like little speckles of color, your eyeshadow. That's what fallout is. So to prevent that, you just tap it. I don't know if you can see the excess product coming off and that can help you prevent fallout from happening. So then I'm just going to apply that literally all over my lid and a little bit up over my crease. This is the very first color I'm applying. It doesn't really matter what kind of technique you use. So I just push it down and then go like this, like little baby strokes up and down. Or you can go like this. There's really no definite technique like I had mentioned before. Okay, so we have the base color set. Since I don't have the best of brushes, I don't technically use the brush for what it's supposed to be used for. So like this, I use this color to put um, darker colors in the crease. And this is called the e.l.f. smudge brush from again the e.l.f. essentials line. So when you, if you want to accomplish um, an eye look that has a lighter color on the lid, and a darker color in the crease, then you don't want to use a brush like this. This is perfect for just applying on the lid. You want to use a thinner brush, if you can see that's thinner, so it can get right up in your crease. Yeah, that's, I'm just gonna stop that right there. So, I'm then going to use this shade, this eye color right next to it. It's kind of a, um, really don't describe it. I guess the first word that comes to mind when describing this shade is a mocha color. The main point is you want a darker color than what you applied on your lid. But if you are going to be building colors, then obviously you want to start with the lighter shade and work your way up. It's just common sense. So again, I'm just going to apply the product like so onto the brush and then tap off any excess. And with this brush, since this is the lightest color I'm going to be using my crease, I want it to go a little bit above the crease. So I'm first applying it flat like this and then I move it so it's kind of vertical. And I apply it from inner corner 
to outer corner, like so. Again for the other eye. And use this single eyeshadow from L'Oreal. It is called Deep Mocha. It is a matte brown. And this, I'm just literally going to focus it in my crease. So I'm not going to turn the brush at all. You just want to apply the product like this. And then if you ever want to focus just one color in the crease, go like this, and then leave your eye open and just work it into the crease with your eye open. Because if you can see, if I close my eyes, you just see that darker brown and it's literally just in the crease. So we're going to do that again. Another tip, if you want a super straight edge for your eyeshadow um, and for your, if you plan on doing a winged liner, you can apply tape right here. You just go up like you follow this little line up from here and you apply the tape right here. That will make your eyeshadow edge be really straight and then it'll make it it'll make it easier to apply winged liner. Like I said, we started off with a light brown, moved to a medium brown, and then we're gonna go with the darkest color, which is this color right here. It's not quite black. It's pretty darn close to black. It is a super, super deep brown. It is all matte. This one has absolutely no shimmer in it. And, to, and I'm just going to apply this in my outer V. Okay, so the outer V on your eye is right here. It literally makes a V. Boom, boom. That is your outer V on your eye. If you want to um, achieve a smoky eye look, that's where you will focus the darker colors. It is in just in the outer V. You won't bring it into the inner corner at all, or not necessarily into the crease either. It's just literally the outer V. So when I like to focus colors in just my outer V, I like to use this brush right here. This is actually for blending because this is the e.l.f. Essentials line professional blending eye brush, but I like to use it for focusing darker colors in the outer corner of my eye. So I'm just going to dab the brush into the product and again tap the excess and dab it into a V like that. Do you see the V now? If you couldn't see it before, here it is. So I just put more product on this brush and I'm going to make that deeper, make that into a darker color, I should say not deeper. Some other words um, that you hear a lot in tutorials are lash line and waterline. Your lash line is on top of the lid, right up against your lashes, which is your lash line. Your waterline is right here. This is your bottom waterline on top of your lash line, and this is your... I know I said it before to not tug on your eyes, but I'm just doing it to show you guys. This is your upper or your top waterline, which is underneath your lash line. Um, you, you have seen me in my past videos apply eyeliner on my waterlines. That's what I'm talking about, waterlines and lash lines. As you can see, I did bring it up out of the outer V and up a little bit right there. Um, that is perfectly fine. I just want the darker color to be shown a little bit more. So there, you can obviously tell I haven't blended anything at all. So this is what it looks like with harsh lines. You can definitely tell the differences in all the colors that I applied. So now we are going to blend that out a little bit. I'm using the ELF Studio Line Eyeshadow C Brush. For blending, you are again moving in windshield wiper motions and you are just working the colors together, making it so the lines aren't so harsh and whatnot. Alrighty. 
So another tip, if you have arch, an arch in your eyebrows for making the arch look, I guess, higher, would be to put either a light colored eyeshadow or I like to use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and you just apply that right where your arch is at and then you're going to take your finger and blend that out so it's not so harsh. Then you want to go ahead and highlight your brow bone. Um, a good highlight color, it can be matte or shimmery, it depends on what look you're going for. Um, since this is mostly matte, I'm not going to put a shimmer highlight color, but you want your highlight color to be... Well, I'm just going to pull out my The Nude Maybelline eyeshadow palette because I feel like an eyeshadow color in here is a perfect brow, um, perfect brow bone highlight color. It is this color right here. You can see it is a nude skin color. This one is matte and I'm just using the e.l.f. Essentials Defining Eye Brush. It is an angled brush. I like to use this because it, it, since it's angled, it's easy to apply. And I'm going to go ahead and apply the products like so. Tap off the excess and just go like this. Another good thing about the highlight color is it also will help blending out the darker, harsh lines that you have going on. All right, and then if you have a super, super dark um, eyeshadow look going on, then I recommend putting in a, I like to put a shimmery light, like shimmery light color, um, such as a shimmery white into the inner corner. It just brightens the look up and can make your eyes appear larger. So for that, I am going to go back in with my nudes palette. And um, I like to use, I like to use this e.l.f. Essentials um, line professional concealer brush. I know it's supposed to be used for concealer, but as you can see, it is small and it is a perfect, it is perfect for applying eyeshadow into the inner corner. So I'm going to be using this color right here. As you can see, it's a white shimmery eyeshadow. So then I'm going to apply the product like this. I like to put a lot of product for this part. You can even carry it onto your lid a little bit if you like. You just want to focus it on the inner corner of your eye and be careful to not get a super lot of product in your eyeball. And now we are going to move on to eyeliner. You may not know, but there is many different kinds of eyeliners. There is the regular pencil eyeliner. There's two different kinds of pencil eyeliners. The one like this that just twists, it's a twist one. And then there's the other kind of eyeliner that you use a sharpener for. And then there is liquid liners that look like this. They have a little paintbrush and the product is black liquid or whatever liquid color you use. There is um, products now that are um, markers. This is the NYX Super Skinny Eye Marker. It li literally is a marker eyeliner. And there is eyeliners that are cool pencil liners. Um, it, I have one right here that looks like this. It's kind of a little nub right now because I have used it so much, but cool pencil liners I feel like are easier to smudge if you want to go for that smudge look. And then there are gel eyeliners that I have right here, the Maybelline Eye Studio gel liner. It comes like this. And this one came with a little baby paintbrush like this that you apply it with. That personally is my favorite eyeliner to use for my top lash line. Another tip with eyeliner is I actually just read about this and I am a victim of not doing it. But I guess you are not supposed to use the same or darker color of eyeliner that you use on your top a lash line. Say if you use black on top, you're supposed to use a brown eyeliner on the bottom. Or you can either use a brown eyeshadow too. Like in this look, I will be carrying down that deep mocha single eyeshadow palette, single eyeshadow that I had used. I'll be carrying that down underneath my lash line and we'll be doing that right now. 
So I'm going to be taking another e.l.f. Essentials concealer brush. I use this for obviously darker eyeshadows and I use this for going back in with that deep mocha and we're going to be applying that underneath the lash line, not on the waterline, but I just apply that literally actually on top of the lash line. You just want to follow your lash line. I carry that right here. You don't want to carry it all the way into your inner corner. And I like to focus more brown into the outer V right here. As you can see, I'm applying more color right here to make it darker. Now we are moving on to the top lash line eyeliner. Um, as I mentioned before, my favorite eyeliner to use for that is the gel liner. Um, for a beginner, I would not suggest using liquid liner. That is the hardest to remove if you make a mistake. But I like using gel liner because I like the little paintbrush. It's thin, so if you want to make a thin line, it's easy to do so. And um, But I had started out using a regular eyeliner pencil like, like this. The only thing I didn't like about it is you can see it is kind of thick. So it is a little bit more difficult to apply a thin line unless your eyeliner pencil is pointed. Mine is not, so that obviously would be the reason why it's hard for me to make a thin line on top. So that's why I go ahead and use a gel liner with a little paintbrush. So I'm just going to take my Maybelline Eye Studio gel liner in the color Blackest Black, and I'm just going to dab the brush into the product, and then I you can see I have lots of product on there. So then I'm going to, this is what I'm a victim of. I do tug on my eyelids a little bit more than I should, but I need to work on that. So I'm just going to pull on a little bit to flatten out my, my lash line and go into small strokes. You obviously want to get as close as possible to your lash line because you don't want um, a thin line of like skin showing. You want it to be. Okay, so I usually start off by um, going in small strokes and then to straighten the line out, I do longer strokes all the way across the lid. If you don't want such a harsh, um, if you don't want such a harsh line, you can go ahead and use a dark eyeshadow color and apply that onto your lash line, or you can use a cold pencil, eyeliner pencil, and you can smudge out the line that you are applying on your top lash line if you don't want this harsh black line going across your lid. That is another tip. Some people say that. Um, applying eyeliner with their eye open is easier for them, but for me personally, right now, applying it with my eyes closed, with one eye closed, is the easiest for me. Obviously, you want both lines to be evenly thin or thick, and if you make any mistakes at any time applying your makeup, then you want to keep by your side some Q-tips. These are literally magic erasers, I kid you not. If you want to achieve a winged liner look, here is a small tip that I use. You go off the angle from your bottom lash line and you go up like this. So with this pencil, I mean with this brush, I'm going to make a line. I like to do this with my eye open so I can see the line and you want to apply it as if you were drawing up from your bottom lash line. And then you go ahead, if you can see there is the winged liner right there, and you go ahead and you attach that to your line. So you just want to draw that in. There you go. And when you do do a winged liner, you don't have to make the outside of the eyelid so thick. I like to do that. Um, I don't know, I guess that's just my thing, but you can make the wing, you can make your wing more wingy, you can make it just a 
um, straight line out. However, but that is a tip I like to use to achieve this certain kind of winged liner. So another tip, if you want your eyes to appear larger, then you want to apply a white or a nude eyeliner in the um, on your bottom waterline. So I'm just going to be using my Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Waterproof Coal Pencil Liner in the color Nude. Alright, next is mascaras. If you have short stubby lashes like mine, then I would recommend using a volumizing mascara and then a lengthening mascara. So for my volumizing mascara, I'm using the Miss Manga Voluminous Mascara in the color Black is Black. This is from L'Oreal. A tip for applying your mascara is you want to move horizontally like this at the roots of your mas of your lashes to make it look, um, it gives it volume to your lashes. Next, for my lengthening mascara, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Lash Stiletto in the color black and just obviously applying that right on top of the other product. Okay, so if you couldn't tell, I do have some clumping on this side. That is a risk you run when you use, um, when you start layering mascaras. So a tip to get rid of that is to either take a clean mascara brush or you can go ahead and use a little brush like this and um, you just comb them out like that. Start at the root and you go to the tip. Okay, another tip. If you get mascara on your face, you want to wait until it dries all the way because if you try and remove it, like with your finger or with a Q-tip right away when it's still wet, you will get a black smear. So you want to wait until it is dry so you can just wipe it off. And I'm just going to be going back in with the Maybelline Lash um, Stiletto to apply that on my lower lashes because it has a smaller brush. Um, actually, another tip that I want to mention real quick when you are applying your bottom mascara is you can go ahead and use a tissue or a plastic spoon and you apply it right up underneath the lash line and that will prevent you from getting product on your face. If you did get any product underneath the lashes, again, wait till it's dry and then you can go ahead and apply it and then twist it and it will remove the product from your cheeks or from underneath your lashes. And that is it for this look.